Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining. And if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos every week on pretty much anything. So be sure to stick around and subscribe down below. In today's video, I have a massive boots haul, which I'm super excited to share with you. I've picked up loads of really cool bits and things that I've literally never seen before. So I'm super excited to share with you all the bits that I picked up. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is my bag of stuff, literally it feels like it's going to break, it is so heavy. So yeah, I'm just going to dive into the bag and go through it that way just because there's not really any order to the things that I like picked up in this haul, so yeah. Okay, so the first kind of things that I picked up and actually went in for was hair stuff. If you've watched my hair transformation vlog, you will know that I only ever use these products when my hair is blonde to keep it in the best condition and to keep the colour there. So it is the John Frieda Highlight Activating range that I use for my hair. So I actually picked up some more of the conditioner because I absolutely love it. It's really nourishing on my hair and as I said, it really helps keep the colour. This is another product that I absolutely swear by, and this is the John Frieda Go Blonder Controlled Lightning Spray. Now, I actually use this when I've washed my hair, and I spray it on my hair when it's wet before I blow dry it. And I am 100% certain that my colour would not stay as vibrant as it is if it wasn't for this, and I literally, I've been using it now... My hair's kind of differed in colours over the years, and any time that my hair's been blonde, I've always used this. So over the last sort of like four or five years when I have been blonde, this is always, always something that I pick up. And for me personally, I very much notice the difference. I'll pop a picture up actually on the screen of what my hair was like when I first had it coloured, and you'll be able to see the difference of like where my hair is now I'll put a picture of both because obviously my hair has got studio lights on at the moment so it is going to look brighter so I'll do a before and after on the screen for you so you are able to see the difference in my hair colour but yeah I absolutely love this and I swear by it and then I also picked up the Sheer Blonde Flawless Recovery Deep Conditioner I haven't tried this before but because it is specifically for blonde hair I figured it would be worth picking up in boots at the moment all John Frieda products are three for two so I was like why the hell not and also it smells insane so I'm super excited to use this and yeah they were the sort of hair bits that I had gone in for but if you're like me and you have blonde hair I highly recommend this range because for me personally as I said every time I have been blonde this is the range that I go to and I always notice how well my colour stays so yeah I definitely recommend next up then I picked up the CeraVe eye repair cream so it looks like this is that going to focus? There we go. So this is what it looks like. I have heard so much about this brand in terms of using it for dry skin, sensitive skin. And as you know, during these months, my skin is very dry and very sensitive. So I really wanted to pick this up. I've actually seen a couple of TikToks about it as well. So I really wanted to try it. So this is the eye repair cream, which reduces the look of dark circles and puffiness and helps restore the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which if you have dry skin, hyaluronic acid is basically God for your skin. The reason I wanted to try this was because I have really really bad dark circles under my eyes it doesn't matter how much sleep I get they are there all the time more like in my inner corner and anything I've tried just hasn't worked I did try the Ole Henriksen banana eye bright cream but I actually reacted to it and got really dry patches all over my under eye so I had to stop using that so yeah I've been looking for something for ages to try and use and when I saw this on like TikTok and social media and stuff I really wanted to pick it up so I will let you know how I get on with this but I'm super excited to try it because I've heard really good things next up then I picked up these bath salts so these are are the West Lab brand and these are the Recover Epsom salts with white willow and eucalyptus soothe tired aching overworking muscles now this brand is vegan for any of you who are vegan out there and I am super excited to try these my mum actually uses these salts as well and she really likes them but 
as I am sort of working out more from home and running a lot more, I feel like these kinds of things are going to really help me when I have a bath and really help my muscles to just chill out a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to use these. This bag was actually half price. It's only $2.99, which I thought was pretty good for a kilo of bath salts. And yeah, and then it just gives you all the instructions and stuff on the back in terms of like how much to use and when to use it and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited to try these. As I said, this has been a brand that I've actually wanted to try for a while. I've just never really gotten around to it. But um, yeah, while I am sort of running and doing workouts and stuff at home, I thought this would be really, really helpful. So super excited to try these. So going back to the hair theme, I actually picked up this. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blend Shampoo Bar, which looks like this. Now I'm really intrigued by this because I've never used a product like this before. So it says zero plastic waste, lasts up to two months, 94% plant-based, and it's for hydrating your hair basically. So yeah, I'm super excited to try this. As I said, I've never used a shampoo bar before. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna use it. I imagine it's like using a normal soap where you kind of like rub it in your hands and then rub it in your hair. But yeah, these were on offer, so I was really intrigued and I really wanted to try it. So I will let you all know how I get on with this as well. This is for normal hair. My hair is like normal to dry, but they did have other bars that cater for different hair types. So whether your hair is prone to breakage, whether your hair is extra oily, anything like that, they kind of cater towards. And these are actually $3.99 at the moment instead of $7.99. So yeah, go and grab these while you can if you are interested. But I'm super excited to use this. Next up then, I picked up a few makeup bits. So I restocked on my NYX Born to Glow concealer. This is the best concealer I've ever used and I'm absolutely obsessed. The coverage on this is incredible and it's just so good. I think it's like eight or nine pound and I've tried the NARS concealer and I actually prefer this, so take that as you will. And then I also picked up the Sweet Cheeks Creamy Powder Blush in the shade Daydream, which I just thought looked such a nice colour and I'm obsessed. This is exactly the kind of the colour blush that I love to wear and I'm just super excited to try it. It's a really nice, it comes up a little bit darker on camera, but I can promise you in person, it's more of like a lighter pink. It's got a tiny bit of a sheen to it as well, but I actually really like that because I like my skin to look dewy and like fresh. So yeah, super excited to try those as well. Um, I've only ever used one blush, so I thought it's time to kind of like venture out and pick up a new one. I love NYX as a brand. I find that a lot of the products that I have from NYX at the moment are my favourites or my go-tos. So yeah, I really wanted to try one of their blushes. Next up, I picked up two shower gels. The first one is the Clean On Me Soap and Glory. If you know, you know, Soap and Glory is like iconic and the stuff smells so good. I swear, like if girls use Soap and Glory, you can like smell it on them and you'll know instantly like what, what like bath stuff they're using. So yeah. All of the Soap and Glory things in Boots at the moment are a third off, so this was only $4.99, I think. I'll have to check that. So I bought this, and then I also bought the Imperial Leather Wild Thing Shower Gel. If you haven't tried this, you need to try it. It is honestly the most refreshing, like, fruity smell ever. The sort of description for it is Funky Fruits and Safari Sunsets, but honestly, like... It's one of those ones that you could actually eat. Like, it's so, so good. So I'm super excited that I've got one of these. Again, these are all on offer in Boots as well, and they are only one pound. I feel like I picked up quite a few hair bits, but that's just because I go through these phases of just really wanting to, like, give my hair a lot of TLC. So I also picked up the, the Garnier Ultimate Blend Moisturising Hair Food, Aloe Vera and Coconut. So this is the hair masks that they do that looks like this. Again, they have a range of sort of flavours and stuff in these and honestly, the smell of these, again, is something you could eat. Like, give me a spoon and yeah, like it's so good. They have just launched a watermelon flavour, but it's more toward, catered towards fine hair, which mine definitely isn't. I have very thick hair, so I didn't actually pick that one up today. So this one is for normal hair, and honestly, 
it just smells so good like they're so good for my hair they're actually a three-in-one mask so you can use them as like a regular conditioner a leave-in conditioner for like five minutes or you can leave it in overnight which is why I really like these because they're kind of like three products in one which is fab again these are all half price in boots at the moment as well as the shampoo and regular conditioners that go alongside them and they've got so many like nice flavors and, and also they do cater for lots of different hair types as well so there'll be something for everyone within that range and I'm very excited to use this because I haven't used this flavor before and it smells good also just another note these products are also vegan Finally then, the last thing that I picked up was the Rush Hour Sensational Dry Shampoo. I always need dry shampoo in my cupboards. I just, I use it all the time. So this one, actually, I was really, I've never tried this one before, but I was really intrigued because the bottle is actually bigger than the regular Batiste version. And this one was actually a little bit cheaper because it was a third off. So I'm super excited to use this. Again, it smells so good and anything Soap and Glory, I feel like if it says something specific, like it's, it does the trick. Their hand food is the best hand cream ever, like their foot creams and bath moisturisers and stuff are always the best I find. So yeah, I'm super excited to use this. I've, as I said, I've never used this one, but I've got high hopes because everything else from Soap and Glory, I'm obsessed with. Okay, so that is everything that I picked up from Boots. It wasn't like the biggest haul ever, but the things that I did pick up, I really wanted to share with you just in case any of you would be interested. And a lot of these things that I did get were on offer currently, so the perfect time to kind of go down there and pick some stuff up. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed. Let me know down below which kind of product was your favourite or ones that you want to try out yourself. Do be sure to give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, that is it from me. I really hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you all very soon with a brand new video. Bye!